Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. I've got a really powerful video for you. This is going to make you a lot of money. I'm going to show you how to set up a proper Facebook ad for your e-commerce or your Shopify business. It's going to work for either model. It's going to work with click funnels. It's going to work with print on demand. It's going to work with drop shipping. It's just going to work for really anytime you want to drive traffic to a place where you're going to be selling products. And first I want to talk about what exactly is print on demand with Shopify. And in fact, I'll illustrate it with these three little icons. Basically, it's where you take a design file. It's often a .png file, right? A little graphic design file. And you turn that into a t-shirt, which then gets sold on your store for cold hard cash. And the best part is we're going to be able to sell millions of dollars of these print on demand products without ever spending a dollar on inventory. And that's why I know for a fact that this is by far the best business opportunity of the year. This is the power of print on demand. You get to sell 300 different products that are produced when ordered, right? That's the print on demand part. These products are printed or produced once they're demanded. When are they demanded? When they're ordered, which means you get paid first, right? You get to literally get paid for a product that doesn't exist. You just have this design file represented as a t-shirt in your store and then it gets sold. So that's the power of print on demand. Definitely the best business opportunity of the year. And the most important part of this business in terms of actually making it work is the marketing. And that's specifically running paid ads on Facebook, using Facebook ads. And I'm gonna walk you through how to create a winning Facebook ad for e-commerce. It doesn't matter if you're doing print on demand. It doesn't matter if you're doing drop shipping. It doesn't matter if you're doing Shopify, uh, WordPress, WooCommerce, ClickFunnels, it doesn't matter. This Facebook ad setup is gonna work for you. So let's first talk about what do you need to run a successful e-commerce ad on Facebook. There's gonna be some prerequisites, okay? Number one, obviously, you need to have a destination URL, right? I'm talking about the actual place where people are gonna go, you know, the site that your store where you wanna send traffic. If you don't have a destination URL, you're, you're not ready to go to this spot, right? If you don't have a place where you need to send people to, for example, your product page, right, then you're not ready to move forward, okay? So you need to obviously have your store up and running. This is the whole part where you have a store, now you need people to get to it, okay? So you got the destination URL. Number two, you need a Facebook fan page, okay? You can go to facebook.com slash page, create a page, totally free. You want your page to obviously match your store. Okay, number three, you need a Facebook ads account. You can check out business.facebook.com. Make sure you set up your ads account. Obviously, you need to have an ads account to run Facebook ads. So these are just basic prerequisites here. Number four, you need ad targeting. Okay, this is going to talk about who do you want to see your product. Let's say you're selling cat t-shirts. Obviously, you want cat lovers to see your product. Let's say you're uh, selling tennis rackets. Obviously, you, you want tennis lovers to see your product. So ad targeting, you know, we could have a 10-hour conversation just on that. You could check out live.justincener.com, L-I-V-E.justincener.com. You could check out my ad targeting strategies and all that great stuff. But of course, you're going to need your ad targeting. Now, what we're going to jump into is steps five and six, the actual implementation of these ads, how to set up these ads. And we're going to talk about the proper ad objective. There's a bunch of different ad objectives. Most of them you could ignore. And then, of course, we're going to talk about ad image, ad copy, and potentially even ad video if we're going to be doing that. So we're going to really be going over the shoulder now, and I'm going to show you inside Facebook ads. And we obviously already have a destination URL. We're just going to use a product on one of my stores. We have a Facebook fan page. I already created that. Obviously, I have my uh, Facebook ads account. have that already. And I've already done ad targeting. And we're going to be doing a product for cat lovers. So obviously, we're going to be targeting cat lovers on Facebook. So let's go over the shoulder. We'll bring up Facebook ads, and we're going to start with step number five, proper ad objective. All right, so what I got on the screen right now is my Facebook ads account. And I want to show you some other things in terms of the requirements. Here is a destination URL, right? Here's the actual product page, and we're going to be sending people to this URL. This is just one of my demo stores, just for example purposes. And we're going to always want to send traffic directly to our product page. We're not going to send to a home page or a category page, always direct to a product page. So this is the destination URL. Again, we were looking that over here, right? Step number one, destination URL. We also need to have a Facebook, Facebook fan page. And here's my fan page for cats, just called I Love All Cats. You could have a fan page about your niche or just matching up directly to your store. So that's another uh, requirement, Facebook ads account. You see, I got that over here. And then uh, I mentioned ad targeting. You can check this out, live.justincener.com. This is my exact niche targeting strategy, my testing strategy. So you can check this out. Nice little uh, masterclass there. So coming back over here, we're back onto number five, right? Proper ad objective. This is where we're actually going to build our ad. These four steps are just prerequisites. Now we're actually ready to go. So we're going to come over here and click create. And this is obviously going to start our ad. And this is going to be the first thing that we're looking at here. There's different objectives, okay? You could ignore almost all these, okay? For e-commerce, you really want to focus on just a couple of these objectives. I'll go over them real quick. Conversions, by far the most important one, right? This is what we're going to be using here. Now, there is something that you need to do before you run a conversion ad. You need to make sure that your Facebook pixel is set up. So you can come over here into your ad account and go to pixels, and it will walk you through how to make sure you set that up. Super easy. You just copy and paste your pixel ID into Shopify in the online store preferences setting. So you'll have that set up. 
conversions definitely gonna be by far the most important 99 percent of your ads are going to be run using this objective and we're going to definitely set that up right now but i just mentioned a couple other ones engagement this is your traditional ppe ad uh, you're going to get likes comments shares you're not going to get a lot of click through on here this is your traditional cost per click right just a click to website here is your video views definitely very powerful you're paying here on a video view basis and lead generation this is a good one as well if you want to actually capture leads directly through Facebook where they don't even leave the platform you can also do lead generation I actually do more lead generation here when I send people to opt-in pages and lead funnels stuff like that but for e-commerce we're gonna be focusing right on here conversion so you click on this first and this is setting your objective step one setting your objective on the ad and remember we need to set the proper ad objective in order to build a successful e-commerce ad so we're absolutely gonna be pressing or selecting conversions up here okay I'll just name test uh, test website conversion who cares Right, this is just for our example process, but you'd name it so you'd understand at quick glance what product you're promoting inside of this campaign. So now we're on to step two. Okay, step two is going to allow us to actually set the conversion event. So a couple different things you need to understand. We have an objective, right? Conversion is the objective, but there are different types of conversion. For example, there are purchase conversions, right? When someone actually comes to our site and purchases a product. And actually, let me take a step back. The reason why this objective works so well, right? We could hover over this. Basically, we're talking about driving valuable actions on your site, right? Obviously that means for e-commerce purchases. Now, the reason why conversions as an objective works so much better than any of these is because this uses the Facebook pixel to start to understand who is your perfect customer, right? So if we're gonna go and ask for conversions, then over here, we're gonna specifically ask for purchase conversion. All right, let's see, we got purchase conversion here, right? This is now saying we're gonna optimize this ad for conversions and specifically the conversion event that we want is purchase. Now there are other events as well. For example, add to cart, right? You could optimize for add to cart if you want, but purchase is really the way to go. Now there's debate in terms of where you want to start. I say you either start between purchase or add to cart. If you're brand new, you might want to start with add to cart, but you always want to get to purchase. And that's because obviously that's the best event that we want. <clears throat> we trust that Facebook understands who is mo most likely to purchase. And I'll tell you this, this is 110% fact. Facebook ads gets easier the more times you do it. Why is that? Well, obviously you learn as you go, but also your Facebook pixel learns. As you send more traffic to your site, it's gonna to start to understand, okay, this type of person doesn't click, this type of person does, and even more so, this type of person buys. So when you have optimization like this, you're saying, okay, Facebook, I'm gonna give you some information over here in terms of targeting, I'll show you this in a second, but overall, we're looking for people that are gonna perform this action. That's why website conversion purchase is the objective that you're gonna make the most money on. We're literally letting Facebook say, okay, I'm gonna go find people that, we're gonna, that are gonna perform website conversions on your website, and that conversion is gonna be a purchase. And if you're an e-commerce marketer, that's music to your ears, right? That means you're going to let Facebook find people that are going to make you money. Okay, so that's why you're not going to do PPE. You're not going to do clicks to website. You're not going to do video view ads. You're going to do website conversion purchase, okay? So let's continue and build this out. Coming over here to the audience, right? This is going to be what you learn over here at live.justinsenior.com, exactly what to put inside of this box. And um, I'll just show you a couple of different examples. Just so, Actually, I'll show you a basic example. Let's say you want to target people that like cats. You literally just come in here and type in cats. Now, admittedly, that's not a great example because it's just a little bit too broad. 49 million people. It's great that it's so big, but we want to get a little bit more specific. So maybe we come in here and do cat breeds or cat food brands or cat websites or competitors, things like that. You want to be a little bit more detailed. Okay, I do like unchecking this box, especially if you're running with my targeting strategy. You always want to uncheck this box. So come over here, keep scrolling down, take a look at placements, right? We could change placements. Let's say we only want to be on Facebook to start. We can uncheck these boxes, right? I recommend testing this out, making sure you find out. You could definitely make conversions on other platforms. For example, Instagram, Audience Network, even inside of Messenger, it works very well. But Facebook is going to be the predominant place where you're going to make money. Okay, coming down here, <clears throat> we all know what to do here. One of the best parts about Facebook, right? You can start with super low budgets, right? Are you gonna make millions of dollars on $5 ads? No, but it's great to start with $5 ads because you limit your risk, right? You wanna run for five days, $5 each day, $25 total, and then you take a look at the stats. If you're profitable, you wanna scale. If you're not profitable, you wanna read the stats and figure out what to do next. But very, very simple here. You're just starting with five bucks. Now you see, I skipped a lot of things here, right? I'm skipping age, right? I'm skipping gender, I'm skipping location, I'm skipping any of this. Um, conversion window or bid strategy, I'm keeping it on the default. And especially if you're getting started, even if you're not just getting started and you're kind of intermediate and advanced, I think 99% of the times you're not gonna have to touch any of these other things. For example, optimization delivery, conversion window. Um, I don't even like touching age unless I know for a fact. And when I mean fact, I mean weeks and weeks and weeks of consistent data telling me about who is a buyer in my age group. If not, I'm just gonna give 18 to 65 plus and allow Facebook to kind of figure out who is the best there.
okay? So very, very simplistic here. We're just setting our targeting, we're setting our conversion event, and of course we're setting our budget. Now we're gonna go to the last step, step three, and this is where we're gonna actually go ahead and create the ad. So the first thing that we wanna do is, we have two options, create an ad or use existing post. Now there's two, um, two different alternatives of how to do that. If we wanna use a 1200 by 1200 photo post, we're gonna come over here and click use existing post. This is gonna actually allow us to select a, fan, uh, a post that's already on our page. And in fact, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna click use existing post. And now what I need to do is go ahead and find this page. Because before I made this video, I actually posted a little sample ad on this page, right? Here you go, this is the actual product. I work hard so my cat can live a better life. Here's my ad, right? Here's a little golden nugget here for you. This is the ad copy I like to use, a little bit of a question, right? I always like to ask a question that I know I'm gonna get a yes answer to. And I know they're gonna love cats because I'm only targeting people that love cats. So I literally say, do you love cats? You love this shirt? Get it now with a call to action to the destination URL so they could buy the product. And then of course an ad image here, 1200 by 1200, showing the product in a nice little niche background. So what I need to do is now find this page. So the page is I love all cats. So I'm gonna just search it, here you go, I love all cats. Because we selected use existing post, it's gonna ask us right here, what do we wanna use for our ad? So we've already actually created our ad simply as making a status update on our fan page. So here's that status update. Now I'm coming back over here, I'm gonna select the post. You see this exact post, right? It's gonna say, do you love cats? You love the shirt, right? The exact same post. So in fact, your status update is simply just turned in to a sponsored ad by selecting it in this section. We don't need to press anything else. All we're gonna do is press this green confirm button. If we were to do that, that would publish this ad immediately and that would then turn this into a sponsored ad. People who would meet our targeting inside of the audience would then start to see that ad. And that's how you do this. That's how you make money with e-commerce. Right? That's how you run a successful ad. Right? You need to basically match up your product with the right audience. You need to have the right objective. You need to have good ad copy, good ad image. You obviously need to have those uh, prerequisites like destination URL, Facebook fan page, Facebook ad account, ad targeting, which is super important. But this is the process that you're gonna replicate over and over and over again. If you wanna launch 10 products this week, you're gonna launch 10 website conversion ads, right? Always gonna be website conversion, always gonna be that purchase objective. Unless you're 100% brand new, then you might wanna start with add to cart. But don't mess around with any of the other objectives, okay? This is where you're gonna make your money, okay? This is how you're gonna make money in this business. Website conversion, $5 a day, purchase objective, a real nice 1200 by 1200 ad image, it's a big square, some nice ad copy using that question strategy, which really works very well. And if you paid attention to this video, I think right now, right after this video is done, you can go ahead and launch your Facebook ad and have a pretty good uh, opportunity to make some money there because this is exactly how you're gonna build that successful e-commerce ad. So I hope this video helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.